Hi, in this video I'm going to show you quickly how you can find your own free IP proxy lists. Um, now before I start I should point out that um, I'm not a great fan of these uh, proxy servers. You, the, the free ones, you don't know who's running them, why they're running them, where they are, what they're meant to do. So please use these with caution. Okay, I'll show you how to find the lists. The rest is down to you. The one very big advantage is of course they're free. Okay, so how do we find them? Well, the easiest, although there are lots of websites that detail these sort of things and produce lists, it's best to just search online. Because one of the main problems with these proxies is they get overloaded. So if you can find them yourself um, away from the main sites, um, you're more likely to find a working one. Okay, so what you need to do is try this Google search expression. Let me just click on there. Okay. Uh, let me just zoom in on this. Okay, so it's a simple search expression, and it's basically searching for ports 80, for 80, 80, 3128, and 80, which are common ports that open proxy servers have. We're also looking for um, a file type, a, a list of text, because the big proxy scrapers dump to um, these um, a text file names, okay, file types rather. So that's what you need to do. Let's just go back from that. So we've done a search here. Now we've got lots of results here, um, 10 pages plus. Um, proxies don't live very long, free ones, okay? So you're not interested in any search results from a, uh, any, a few days ago, uh, a few weeks ago rather. So you just click on search tools or it can be in different places with Google on here. What you need to do is to filter um, the search results for maybe the past week, okay? So this is files that have been created or updated in the last week. So we've got a proxy list here, and we've got a list of um, servers here. So these are all proxies. They're basically, let me just zoom in again. You can see there's the proxy IP address, which is the first part there. Then there's the port number, you need to know that. Uh, the location and whether it handles SSL okay, according to these lists. Um, might not be completely accurate, but you know, you can pick up a server here. So we've got one here, 70.39.189.6, using port 9090, and it's supposedly in the US. So let's have a look at that one. So what we can also do, now everybody doesn't have to do this, but I like to have a look and see where this, uh, do a little bit of detective work, and have a look at this server and just see where it is. What I'm trying to do is avoid any obviously criminal type servers or ones that have been hacked. So let's go and have a look at who's this. This is Packet Exchange Science and Technology in the US. It looks like maybe some sort of education center, a college, maybe something like that. So it, it may be okay, maybe just left open automatically. Um, bear in mind, we haven't had permission to go on most of these servers. So be careful what you do. Okay, I keep stressing that, but it's important. Okay, so we'll give this a go then. Uh, and how do we configure it? Well, we just the, the easiest way to configure it is within our browser. Now it'll vary obviously to different browsers. I'm in Chrome here. So I go to my settings tab. Here we go. And what I scroll down, I have to show advanced settings here. And I'm looking for the network sessions. Change proxy settings, okay? So when I click on this, uh, I get this little dialog box. Um, uh, Chrome shares the same settings as IE, it comes from Windows, so you'll get this little box if you're using something like um, Safari Opera or um, uh, Firefox, you get slightly different. Okay, so what you need to do is click that box there, and we need to put in the IP address of the server we just found from the list. Now you might try need to try a a few of these to see which works. There's the port, so I put the port in there. Leave bypass proxy server for local addresses. That means if, if you're looking something on your local network or um, um, PDFs and stuff on your own file, it won't route it through the um, proxy. Just okay that, okay that, and click. Okay, now important at this point now, everything I do through Chrome and everything you do will be routed through that server. Please don't go to sites like PayPal, online banking, anything that anything at all like that, don't use these servers. You don't know who's running them, you don't know what they 
they're four, you don't know anything about them, and you're firing all your information down there. doesn't matter if it's SSL protected, you can access the data through that quite easily if you have control of the proxy, okay? So use it for streaming video or, um, I don't know, accessing YouTube and things like that. Nothing with accounts, nothing with usernames. Don't go there. Okay, let's see if it works because uh, it don't, it won't. They won't always work. Um, generally, I have to try five or six. But um, let's just go to the BBC website. So at this point, I'm using this um, US-based proxy server. Okay, and and that's not going too far. You see, it's waiting for proxy tunnel there. It's uploading. You, you'll never get a super fast. Well, you might. You might be really lucky and get a super fast one. Uh, that's reasonably usable, I think. Um, and again, that's surfing through a US proxy. Um, it's not perfect. Remember, as soon as you finish browsing, I think that was one of the quicker ones I found. Um, it seems to work reasonably well. There is a delay. You have to accept that these free ones are used by lots of people. Okay, so you occasionally get lucky and get a really fast one. Um, proxies don't work for the big media sites anymore. They used to. You won't be able to get to US proxy and go to Hulu, I'm afraid, because Hulu can detect it. Most of the big media sites. The only one that I know does still work is BBC. If you use it with a UK proxy, you can use... Um, the full version. You see, I'm getting BBC America now here, the American version of the BBC, because I'm using an American proxy. Um, but uh, a, a UK-based proxy, if you search, will work with this. Um, remember, remove the um, proxy at the end of your um, browsing. That's important. Otherwise, you'll you'll forget. You'll go back in, and you might go and check your bank account or something like that. Please, please, please don't do that. It's not worth it. If you do want to use um, a secure, super fast proxy, I can recommend uh, the offer here. It's going well. Uh, uh, there's an offer on the screen for a private, super secure, super fast um, proxy. It, uh, there's obviously a subscription here, but there's a discount code with it. Uh, I'm going to finish now, and that's my little introduction. I hope that's helped somebody and um, show you how to find your own free proxy lists. Um, I say I'll put the uh, search uh, strings in the description below so you can just copy and paste them. Thanks very much for watching.